Hello friends, this video is about how to learn customization of Autodex products. So first you go to Autodex developer network and there uh, you go to the first link for Autodex developer network and from there you go to platform technologies and then you choose the CAD software or BIM software that you are interested for. Let's say I'm interested for Inventor, okay? And to learn Inventor customization. So there are several posts. Here you will get uh, some video uh, recorded by Autodex Developer Network. You can download them and uh, watch those videos along with the sample code will be provided. Another is the blog post. Okay. There is also another blog post, but say for mod the machine blog post for the inventor and fusion customization. So this blog post is organized in month wise and date wise. You can browse to that, right? There are many, many posts. The first post that came for this uh, mod the machine blog is August 2008. So you can navigate by month or by topic, okay? Now, I was actually trying to read all the blog posted on this Morda machine. And for example, I have read this page and I want to bookmark it as read, completed, say, completed, completed, something like that. And next move to the say just a minute once that is done you can go to the other page read it and you can mark it as completed you can navigate all those page that way but the problem is for example there are some pages that you don't want to actually read it at this moment but in future you may be interested to come back so in that case if you want to bookmark them you can create another bookmark say d f f e r e d d f f e r e d whatever is the best way now you can move to the next blog and once you are completed with that you can mark it as sorry so you see there is a possibility of mistake you have to choose the right fold that way uh, actually this is possible but for example uh, you have read up to this and you now you want to start from here okay now if you close uh, this window and come back next day maybe you don't know from where to start you have to again browse it from the beginning if you it is already in history you can get it but you know meanwhile you have browsed any other pages so obviously it is not your last visited page so it will be hard to find from where you want to start well, or you have to bookmark as the last read page something like that so it was little bit time taking and time con uh, means confusing so i developed a tool custom web browser in dotnet named uh, as blog post so just give me a minute i will explain you so when you run it you will get a dot net win form where actually you can choose the blog that you are interested right now i am supporting autocad inventor revit but it can be extended to any blog post right now i have selected inventor you can choose the year that you are interested and that way you can also navigate to the month okay and now you have for example let's see so this is the first month the first blog post and you have actually completed it reading complete next you move to that you have also completed reading that one okay that way actually frankly speaking i have read of the first 
uh, blog posts and I can mark it easily from here. I don't have to go to the uh, bookmark manager or something like that and do it. There is a checkbox that is supposed to work, but I have changed the code, that's why it is not working. The this checkbox tells whether this is already read or completed by you or not in case you come back now for example for this woodworking you want to defer it you don't want to read it now you want to defer it so whenever you defer it it will be populated in this list box so suppose you have deferred 10 items or 12 items you can directly jump from here okay so say you have read it and you want to close the application and your last page read is this september 23 inventor api fundamentals connecting to api okay now you can just close it and say reopen the application and the page will start from there because it records what is your last recorded uh, last visited uh, blog post right it is disconnected from your normal browser so it has its own memory now those are populated those items are populated here you can directly jump from here if you want to read it or or you can navigate through this whatever the way you want now there is an option called export bookmark what it does for example it generates a bookmark based on your data right uh, so you can see which is completed and which are different right now you can actually import that file itself uh, by importing the bookmark right and selecting that file that way you can easily manage that which files you have read and which is supposed to read right uh, frankly speaking probably there will be very less people who want to read all the blog posts related to that normally will people search a topic uh, based on their need and they can found it in the blog post and they can read it copy paste the code from there and whatever it is but i am interested to get uh, maximum information out of all the blog post I cannot digest and remember everything but I'm trying to read all the blog posted on a particular this inventor API for now okay now it will take a lot of time to me and that's why it was very necessary to say necessity for me that I can manage that which page has been completed and which page has deferred for me right so I have developed this kind of application so if you are interested to get this application you can contact me and if you're interested how this kind of software you want to uh, you, uh, is you want to know how this software can be developed using dotnet or any other language you can also contact me for that thank you a little addition i have fixed the issue with the checkbox for example you are uh, on the page on this page which is already read right and if it is completed you're supposed to be this checkbox supposed to be turned on okay, okay wait if i click this document page this one yeah if this is found in your completed uh, Means, means previously if you have marked it as completed it will uh, turn on the checkbox from the recorded history and, and that way you can see it here now book would working with inventor obviously you have not completed it because it is part of this default so it will not be checked uh, now if you go back to this page again it means it's supposed to be so it's read because it is completed yeah you can see it it is completed that way you can see i can quickly check yeah i have once at least once i have read to that okay so i will be covering all the blog posts in separate videos as well and i will try to explain the code 
and uh, I will try to show how this code you can uh, use in your um, Visual Studio projects, run it, test it, debug it, understand it, and what kind of modification you can do on that sample source code available. I will be trying to cover all of them in separate videos. I will myself will be also learning as well as I will be sharing that knowledge along with you. If you want to um, actually have the, if you want to uh, connect it, if you are connected with me, you can, if you follow my videos, then you can get the same experience that I am going to get. Okay. So stay tuned. Follow my YouTube. Thank you.